Well, here we are. I'd hoped I wouldn't have to use this entrance again. I doubt this visit will be any less violent than the last. Mm hmm Everybody, just follow my lead. Yeah, I'm staying here. For safety. Of course. A startling revelation from Kang. I expect there will already be enough chaos to go around without your talents. He is worthless for what comes. It may not matter who walks through the door. I sense a great power within, and her will cannot be ignored. Um, her will? Is it the water dragon spirit? She is strong here. But I don't think she means to interfere. Something about guidance. You will know more inside. She will coerce and belittle. Trust your desire. Don't worry, I'll make sure there are no surprises this time. This is going to be a mess. I know it is. Okay, so who are we going to take with us into the palace? I think we have to take Silk Fox. It's her palace. She's our love interest. Seems perfect. Um, interesting. Um, it says that we could have Abbot Song here. I wonder if we could actually have Abbot Song here, or whether that's just a temporary thing that fills in. Anyway, we'll take Silk Fox with us. I know we have Death's Hand, but we're taking Silk Fox. Let's go. Got our Dragon Sword. Let's uh, see what they've got for us this time. Ah. Okay. Losus Assassins, I see. Really not a challenge. There are a lot of them, though. Let's uh, get those slices if we can. Just uh, dash them all away. Oh, it might be a cool idea is if we go Tempest. Backflip a little bit. Get our power attack going. Get all of them with that. That that makes it a lot easier to get some of our combos going in. There we go, another one down. Right. Keep going. Down. Love how many of the the capitation seem to be keep going up in number. The glorious. Oh, wow. The amount of blood. Okay, well we'll uh Get the, those back. Suppose we'll use the ceramic urn. A warrior gem. Really? Okay. Uh, that's what I was looking for. The focus shrine. Just go back up to full. Cool. Uh, we've got another urn over here. That's fine. We're not going to go back and get more focus after that one. It was barely anything. Uh, another couple here as well. Trap sprung. Good. Another trap. Keep going. I, I, I love the traps. This one. Okay, and this one. The only one that wasn't trapped had 5,000 gold in it, uh, or silver. How much does that leave us? Uh, 24,000. We need 50,000 for the next uh, thing, so I don't think we're getting it. A quick save, and we're going to get on the elevator. You have oh, hey, come. Water Dragon. Destiny set this moment in motion, but from here, your choices are your own to make. Your master awaits you, but he is not yet aware. You have time to alter things to your favor. You have time to set us all on the path to rebirth. Learn what has come before, and you will understand what must be done now. Follow into the depths and see what was done in search of my power. Spirits know many things, but how to assault a fortress does not appear to be one of them. <laughs> Follow her and take someone with you, but whoever you leave behind should take another route. That way they don't get behind you and we'll all get equal fighting. Okay. You don't know the palace. You will wander aimlessly. I always wander aimlessly, and I always find my way. Besides, we've been here before. Very well, everyone meet near the throne room. We'll be lucky to see him again. 
You're lucky to see me now, Princess. I'm not known for leaving my company alive. Okay, so we head up. The, uh, the rest of the party will leave, I think, right? Yeah. With Death's hand, just with them. And now we can leave this way. Right, I suppose we should be at full health, at least. Um, yeah. Cool. The tombs of the greatest emperors. Here the empire was built, and here the heart of it is laid to rest. Now that heart is torn out, like another to come. It was gutted to allow the flow, to guide the water that pours from a crime against the heavens and the order of all things. Such disrespect. I never imagined my father would allow this to happen. What hope is there for the future when the past is cast so roughly aside? Mm hmm Um... Why was this done? Where does the water flow from? Emperor Sun would not accept that his empire had to fade so that something new would bloom. He declared war as if the drought was an advancing army. He and the glorious strategist focused on me, the water dragon. I symbolized the fading they wanted to avoid and the regrowth they desperately needed. I became the answer to everything. Press further and you will see the source of the lush new empire under the brother's sun. You okay. must see it with your own eyes to comprehend what they have done. Yeah, the game has decided to save for me. Come on, Silk Fox, we can do this. Ooh. Yeah, now I see where they're getting the water from. What is this horror? I pray my eyes deceive me. Okay. Well, there are a few lost assassins left. Such a brutal display. Now I truly know the depths to which my father went. Behold. Words would not have sufficed. You had to see with your own eyes to truly know my fate. This cannot continue. Fight them. Show them that such things will not go unpunished. Okay. So the Lotus Elite turn on our um, Chi attack for more damage. There we are. It poison us a little bit. But that's alright. Dodge at the uh, Tempest. That's the only one that really matters. The rest we're not too worried about. The Tempest uh, means that we're stunned like uh, Silk Fox is there. Couple more hits. Double more hit, one more, and that's that one done. Let's get the next Tempest user. So Fox is down. Okay. Oh, I guess they're both Tempest users. I guess these guys can use all the styles available to them. Okay, this one is almost done. He's a wizard, apparently. Well, he's going to be a dead wizard, too. There we go. This is what he has done. This is what your master Lee allowed. For twenty years, my body has bled, separate from the spirit, feeding the Empire and the Emperor. It is an agony that you cannot fathom, to have fallen so far into the hands of men. Rebirth is impossible while this continues. Hey guys, what's up? No! By all the heavens. Forgive us, great dragon. Our mortal kin are ignorant, foolish, unkind. 
These crimes will not go unanswered. Such a clumsy means to power. They had to know this act would be punished. Every freedom I cherish is violated by this. As was commanded, the beast was cut open to sustain the Empire. For the good of all, the greatest evil. I marvel at the mind that came up with this. To cast his gaze so far above his station to his own makers is admirable. You small creatures. You heard the sounds of battle, but are you truly prepared? What will become of your world if my kind fall to the same evils that plague you? Your Master Li must be stopped. The Empire must find balance without the flow of heart water he has unleashed. Um, the water feeds the Empire. This is why the drought ended? Water flows from the wound that will not heal in the body that cannot die. Part of me functions as an aspect of our world, elemental in nature. It was never meant to flow free. It is not infinite. The Jade Empire is green, but somewhere another land goes thirsty. All things are linked. Their concerns were for the Empire alone. Nothing else mattered. Hmm. Um, your spirit seems strong. Why can't you help yourself? I help myself by showing you what has been done in the name of power. Mortals were corrupted beyond care for their fellows, or even for their own brothers. If you see their foolishness, the same mistakes will not be made again. Uh, do you blame Master Li? Didn't Emperor Sun place you here? The reign of Emperor Sun saw my abuse, but Sun Li, the glorious strategist, laid the plans. One could not occur without the other. It was never his intent to let Brother Hai rule. Had his plan initially succeeded, your master would be Emperor, and you would have been destroyed with the others of your kind. It was supposed to be a new era, but even I did not know his true intent. Hmm. What do you think I can do about this? You are a spirit monk, charged with guarding the order of things. You were not born to this role, but as the last, a solemn duty falls at your feet. I cannot be healed. My body has been cut open, my heart removed. I should rejoin the Great Wheel, but I am defiled and cannot rest. Rebirth can only come when my essence is free. To defeat your master, you must stop the power he draws from me. Soon he will be too strong, even for you. Um, Emperor Sun had your power for over 20 years and I destroyed him. Emperor Sun did not have the amulet. He had to draw my essence slowly, or it would overwhelm him. Even so, it took a horrible toll on his body. Your master does not have to be so cautious. The amulet is not a source of power, but it is a focus. He partakes of energy that mortals were never meant to hold. He laughs at it greedily, expecting your return. You must destroy the source of that power. You must destroy my body. When he falls, all that is mine will then rejoin my spirit. Rebirth. If Lee is using the amulets I no longer need, could I control the power too? To what end? Look what has become of our master. Look what he has been a part of. Interesting. This power could be used to strengthen the Empire, instead of one man. I do not think the mind of a mortal was meant to hold such ability. This is where it begins. A question of similar intent was the start of all our grief. 
Beware what you say, for you are still mortal and open to the same weaknesses he and his brothers displayed. In Dirge, blood in the fountain suppressed your power without destroying it. It seems that you learned your lessons in the spirit realm a little too well. Yes, blood from your mortal companions could be used to poison my body. The energy flowing to Sun Li would be disrupted, making him vulnerable. Defeat him and my power would remain trapped in this body for you to use. You probably shouldn't tell me that. You could claim his place, become a god. As the blood poison waned, your power would surpass his and eventually consume my very being. But the water that flows from me now sustains the Empire. If you poison my body, you poison wherever that water flows. You would taint the heart of the Empire. Hmm. If I had your power, I wouldn't care about the Empire. And you might cease to be human as well. I begin to see why you would feel that way. Perhaps there is something better. Don't say that. We have fought so hard to restore things to the way they were. To cast aside everything, that was our mistake as well. Interesting. Walls always crumble eventually. Why not at your will? Hmm. It is my decision alone whether I take this path or and not. And you have earned that right. I am with you. I do yeah, not want to be a fault. part of this. If I were not bound, I would beg you to stop. You are a far greater evil than I imagined. My mistake was ever giving my loyalty in the first place. The horror of this! Please, see the consequences and remember who you are! The blood! Who will be the blood? You need blood to poison the dragon's corpse. Whose will it be? I want to see. Uh, oh. <laughs> Never heard that before. Oh. Okay, well, we got a couple of options. We can destroy the body, Dawn Star Sky, uh, How, or Death's Hand. Well, there's only one person I could trust with this job to die gloriously. For our new empire, the new world order, it has to be Dawnstar. And I believe we did not quite find this out during this uh, playthrough, but if you do things slightly differently, you find out who Dawnstar's parent is. One very important parent, Sun Li, the glorious strategist. And that is who Zhu saved. So, uh, yeah. It seems uh, just right that Dawn Star will do it. No! At least let there be a fight. I can't simply let you do this. No. Must I be bound while this happens? I would fight. It must be done. It is the only way to truly secure the Empire. Yes. Yes. Struggle as best you can. Your world is in the balance. Um, I've heard enough. I'll kill any dissenters with my own hands. I have a demon, the Black Whirlwind, the Death's Hand, and will ensure my will is obeyed. You could break my bind of the others, but I sustain Death's Hand. He does as I command. Hmm. I have a demon, the Black Whirlwind, and Death's Hand. They ensure my will is obeyed. Whatever is your will, Master. Let me fight for you. There's so much death here, and none yet by my blades. Yes. Let us gather the blood you need. You are above it all. Yes, show me you have the strength to craft an empire. This is what you want? Then the friend I knew is well and truly dead at Master Lee's hand. I have no choice, though I know I will not win. Come. This I really don't care for. Someone, help! If they fight for me, they will benefit from my influence as you have, Spirit Monk.
Ooh, she's freed them. The heavens guide your hand. Pray it is enough. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna fight them. Make sure we get Dawnstar first. Right. Let's go around the top. Love how it made us choose who we wanted to kill, and then it's like, nope, you have to kill them all. I mean, what would have happened if we chose Death's Hand? I assume we just wouldn't have had the blood. Still interesting. Right, goodbye, Sky. Oh, we're out of focus. It's just punching for how. I love how Yazen doesn't actually have a way to path into the fight. <laughs> Because there's too many of us here. Um, there we are. We'll just, we'll just bounce them around the place. I realized I could just be ranged and then uh, that would solve the problem. Well, time to say goodbye to the water dragon. Now we must go to the throne room. Sun Li will be waiting. Okay. Received the closed fist. Is that another amulet for the closed fist? Yeah, this one's plus 10 body and 5 spirit, which is actually alright, but we're gonna leave that. Time to heal up. Let's go. Alright. Ooh. We got rivers of blood happening here. Fantastic. Oh, headstone. The scintillating gem of power. Ooh, what does that do? Oh, it's just plus five on all stats. I suppose that'd be really good if you didn't just put absolutely everything into charm. Because of course we are the most charming. I just see if there's anything around here like, I don't know, 25,000 silver roughly. Doesn't appear to me. Soon it will hey all be yours, and I will stand at your side, an empire like none before. Yes, of course. None will question my will, Master Li will fall. I don't know if I will be much help. Emperor Sun Li is apparently stronger than my father was. Bah! Danger in front or danger in back? Only a fool forgets to keep an eye in both directions. Hmm. Um. Lee wastes my time. Hold these fools here. Silk Fox, come with it me. It has to be done. We need to move forward, and this is the only way. Mm-hmm. We'll leave uh, those three there. Okay. Quick save. Going into the final room. Let's see how it ha how it goes. Master Lee is waiting. Oh, it saved for us again. Hello, Master Lee. Ah, there you are. I knew you would come, and I have grown very good at waiting. You are very different from the student I once taught. Death changed you, I imagine. I apologize for that indignity, but it was necessary. 
It was also meant to be the end of you, but you surprised me again. I should have studied your people before wiping them out. Even so, I did my best. I made you strong enough to achieve your destiny, but with a weakness I could exploit. I thought I anticipated everything, but you proved me wrong. Hmm. And you have surprised me, but I know what you are now. <laughs> Do you? What am I? A rival to be cast aside. I see. So you will take advantage of all the planning I have done and attempt to steal my destiny, spirit monk? Pretty much, I yeah. I killed hundreds of your kind, thousands, just for the chance to become a god. I can't let you live now that I am one. I am more than Sunhai ever was. I will undo the damage of his ignorance, force the dead to their rest, and keep the waters flowing. My empire will be ordered, obedient, and neither ghosts nor gods will plague it. And you are all that stands between me and the new peace. My brother summoned underlings to defeat you. I will create them from the very stone. Okay, time to beat the uh, demons. Okay, I think I know how to beat them. Let's try again. Uh, that hurt actually quite a lot. You know what? I think I know how to beat them. Be, be a jade ghoul. I cannot heal in this form though, which is a little unfortunate. And of a downside. Oh shit. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, that, um, we almost got it. Hello, sun high. Yes, yes. Another conversation. Um, I know what you are now, rival to be cast aside. I will summon the underlings with the very stone. You know what? Let's get let's skip the uh, other side of it. We're just gonna go golem form. We're just gonna hit this. We're just gonna hit this elf construct. We're just gonna kill it. There we go. We can get the rest of the chi. Switch into long sword. Heal up quite a bit. Hello. Golem form. Oh! Oh, that's how you do it. Oh, uh, different form. Back up, 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 back up. Heal. Oh, so you're almost dead. Okay. Okay. It healed. How did it heal to full health? Uh, oh no. Oh no. Right, come on. Ooh, dodge. Ah, we're dead. Okay, I think we understand how to do it now. Also, I think we need Silk Fox to live. She is, she's definitely not doing. The way to change... Does she have a different form? Heal damage with martial styles. Mm. Yeah, there's definitely an option there to go support on her, but I think we're all right. I know what you are—a rival to be cast aside.
Okay, uh, we're gonna switch to one of these. We're gonna switch straight to Jade Egg Ball form. Go up right up to it, and then we're gonna hit it. And we're gonna kill it. And we're gonna switch through to the other one. We're gonna walk right up to it. And we're gonna kill it. There we are. Now we can get the uh, elephant uh, constructs all by themselves. Uh, oh, hate that bug. Right, back, back to... There we go, we can heal. It's the important thing. And we'll circle, 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 circle. Grab that. Heal. Behind us, behind us, behind us, behind us. You know what? Golem form. Just hit it. Two stone creatures just hammering against each other. Right. Now there are chi things in this area, I'm fairly certain. Uh, we'll quick save. They might be in the next area. I don't see any here. Is there? F we can't go back down, so I guess we're stuck. Let's go up. We got our dragon sword. Be careful. He still has great power to draw upon. Yeah, yeah. It's time An to face display. our master. Your star shines bright, but it is still trapped within a mortal body. Perhaps a more direct application of my power will show you what you are up against. <laughs> just how restrictive your shell truly is. Yes, this will amuse me. Worse than actually dying. Seeing death come and being unable to stop it. Physical barriers are no match for those we place in our own minds. My power has encased you in doubt, held you with the weight of your burden. Your stolen power can't hold me. I will fight your influence. You and your followers are playthings. Death's hand weakens without you, and the rest are held just as you are. You are each too weak to match my power. Presumes to trap us too. He is too strong to fight alone. But you can use the strength of your followers. What else are they good for? Uh, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Guide your minds to me. I am the one that must face Sunlight. I will show them the way, and they can join you. Not me, of course. I'll be there for you if you win, but I have to plan for any possible outcome. Of course. Okay. Wow. I love how Master Lee is using one of the styles you can learn at the beginning. He's got that kind of, uh, like, it's, it's the right thing there. Because that's what he was teaching. We got him. Amusing, but pointless. My talons are deep within you. Another four. Fine. There are others that leap to your defense, but you have lost some along the way. They were sacrificed as you saw fit. Are you certain we are so different? I don't have to explain to you how useful certain tools are. You cannot let this stand, not when so much is at stake. Okay, she takes out one and we got two left. Do we want longsword? Do we want to just... 
avoid the ghost one and take out the rest. Then we want to uh, go and get the ghost one separately. Get this one. Okay, come closer. Gotcha. Jade Golem 4. Okay. So this is, um, neat. Uh, I think what happened is I switched out Jade's Golem form and that broke the, uh, game. He just shouted Doom at me? <sighs> right. I know. Back here again. To the final fight. Be careful. Again. Yes, great power. He has the power of game crash. An impressive. Yes. Physical barriers are no match for those we place in our own minds. My power has encased you in doubt, held you yes, with the yes. weight of your burden. It would not be the end of Jade Empire without a little bit you and your followers are of crashing. Things. Death's hand weakens without you, and the rest yes, are yes. held just as you are. You are each too weak to match my power. Uh huh. Sure. So we might want to avoid killing the final thing with Jade Cole, or at least get the final hit with something else. I yes, yes. These guys are running. Longsword. Longsword's pretty good. Pretty consistent, doesn't crash the game. Uh, right, so we want to go Jade Golem. We to get a couple hits in. And the legendary strike. This guy makes an awful racket. Oh, we got him. Okay. That was easy, I guess. Amusing, but pointless. My Get the next one. Okay. Hello, so Fox. What's up? There. We cannot let this stand. Not when so much is at stake. Yes, yes, of course. All right. Okay. Get rid of this one. Get rid of doubt. Wait. Golem form. Right. We want to hit it twice. Switch into legendary strike. Your efforts are meaningless. Do you think to counter my influence by yourself? A god holds you. Nothing in the mortal realm can help you. Nothing. Mm-hmm. I have moved with you, hidden, trying to keep focus. You may become a tyrant, but his tyranny is certain. I give you all that I am, all that I was. Defeat him if you can. Way to go, Zoo! Ooh. Well, we're broken free. Now it's time for the real fight. Let's, uh... Ooh. Once again, I misunderstand. See what happens The there. raw energy, you are far too resistant to it. Okay. The loyalty you inspire is also tiresome, but I respect it. You have truly become a spirit monk. In another time, I would be proud of your ability. Hmm. Is this the part where you ask, uh, you ask me to join you? 
I'll answer with my fist. You are quick with a threat, as I encouraged in your earliest lessons. It is not the first time my efforts have been turned against me, but I learn quickly. I see now that the Water Dragon's power is the prize, not the means to victory. No matter what I expend, while you live, you will resist. That is your role. It is the celestial bureaucracy attempting to restore balance. We must bring the fight back down to Earth, unless you are made to see it reason. There can be no deals. Let's end this. Master versus student. No great waves of energy. No demons from the walls. Skill versus skill. Master versus student, as you said. I expect you have corrected the flaw in your style. No matter. Beyond the basics, I also taught you focus. Match me if you can. All right. Um. This means we have to use the focus ability that we haven't used for the whole game. I can't remember how to use it. Sorry, I'm gonna have to check the controls. <laughs> focus, 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 focus. Where's focus? I've been what? Focus, focus, focus. Focus, F. Of course, focus is F. Get our sword. Go and hit him. Just keep hitting him. Switch on our, our attack. Like our chi attack. Right. He doesn't seem to be immune to anything, so we'll switch into focus mode. Which uh, usually means everything slows down, but because he's also using focus, I assume that's what it means here. Is that things don't slow down, we're just both moving super quickly. Right. Right, focus. Oh no! That's not good. Uh, are we just gonna lose because we ran out of focus? Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Get this and hit him. Aid golem form. Oh, hit him. We did it. You surprise me yet again. <coughs> I'm a better teacher than I thought. Take power for ourselves.
Well, that is it. We have finished Jade Empire. We're going to read through the epilogue, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about it in the credits. Silk Fox. In the wake of Sun Lee's defeat, Poisonous Yupping assumed control of the Empire. Princess Leanne lent the new Emperor legitimacy through her family line, as, and as Emperor and Empress, they turned a chaotic and fractured land into an economic and military powerhouse. Anyone who challenged the rule awakened a fury that not even the gods could contain, and even whispered secrets earned quick reprisals. Empress Leanne continued to prowl as a shadowy silk fox, but unbeknownst to those who had encountered the supposed outlaw, this new version was dedicated to maintaining the new order. Much as Death's hand had served her father, she controlled the flow of all information within the Empire. This combination of power and cunning ensured that the reign of Poisonous Yupping would be long remembered. Wildflower The birth of a new god is a time of infinite possibility. Anything can be accomplished by those of the will to seize it. Yazen was a prisoner in the body of the child Wildflower, but his master's ascendance, uh, ascendance freed him. The way of fate and power are fickle, and he backed the winning side. With Poisonous Yupping's power growing, he could serve no better master. This mortal with the heart of a true god would not last forever. Some day the demon's time will come again. Death's Hand Bound to Poisonous Yupping's will, Death's Hand served the new empire wherever the face of terror was needed to quell dissension. Infused by the ever-growing power of his master, his physical form was eventually corrupted beyond what his armour could contain, and he became something... other. Much to Poisonous Yupping's approval, as this new form proved far more efficient at instilling fear. Besides, those allowed to, com uh, to comment agreed that the symbolism of trapping him within his brother's armour had always seemed somewhat quaint. Kang after Sun Lee's defeat, Poisonous Yupping fortified the Empire against any possible assault. Kang the Mad, revealed as the minor deity Lord Lao, continued his service to the new Emperor, creating ever more fearful devices, each intended for a more powerful target than the last. But Lao Kang knew that someday, probably sometime after helping subjugate the rest of the heavens, he would no longer be of much use. He was certain he would eventually be called to build a machine to pull his own heart of out to steal his power, and that just gave him the willies. His last invention opened a portal into another plane of existence, and he, along with a good portion of the Golden Delta, disappeared with nothing. Uh, disappeared within. Nothing says, I quit, quite like the crater the size of a lake. Black Whirlwind. The Black Whirlwind accepted the job hunting demons for the celestial bureaucracy, but ensuring red tape frustrated him so much that he gave up and made for the mysterious east. Shortly thereafter, the Empire received a great influx of Outlanders, many of whom were missing limbs and other body parts. He returned to the Jade Empire several years later, but this time he came from the West. He couldn't explain how he did it, but he was the only person unsurprised to arrive back where he started. Expressing a newfound hatred for people who couldn't make a decent bowl of wine, the Black Whirlwind vowed to never again leave the Jade Empire. A week later, he got bored and headed off to the North. Sir Roderick Sir Roderick Ponce von Fondlebottom, the magnificent bastard, left the Jade Empire a broken man. His skills had failed him at the moment of greatest import, and he found it difficult to stomach his defeat, despite his grand capacity. Surely he had not lost as badly as he thought. Surely there was some other explanation. Surely he still had something to teach this barbaric land. After much soul-searching, he traded his last pair of pantalons for a passage to the prosperous east, and he began the long journey home. It is said he eventually discovered the Fountain of Kuth, and is now virtually unflappable. That, or he was accidentally killed by the Black Whirlwind. It is hard to say. People seem to lose interest. As for Percival, he tired of being called Shirley, and returned to his village. And that is the end of Jade Empire. It was a lot of fun. It was, um... It was a different game than I remember. Last time I played it, there was definitely not as many glitches. Like, the PC version needs a little bit of touching up if it was to exist more than what it is. But it's an old game, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, I hadn't played a proper Evil Side playthrough. Now, I, I played a good side playthrough, but Evil just... I, I tend not to play that uh, unless I'm doing, like, a second playthrough. And um, I have, I've done good a couple of times in this game. Evil was definitely something I struggled to quite uh, do as well. 
So it's fun seeing different options you got. Um, also, interesting to see what options actually had an effect and which ones didn't. Um, also, it had a lot of similarities to the end of Knights of the Old Republic, which was evil. But, um, same company, so I guess it makes sense. Um, there were some mechanics in the game that I didn't really like. Some of the fighting characters were a little bit off. Some of the, um, navigation was a little bit odd. The way it kept going, this is, you cannot return from this place, and then you could totally return from this place was a little odd. The flying battles were bad. But, um, apart from the game itself, it held up surprisingly well. It was a fun game, and it was also very different from everything else that's out there. It was a, um... It's a different style of game, it's a different uh, style, art style as well. You don't really get that many um, Chinese-inspired, uh, well, RPGs done in this style. It's, it was very nice, very refreshing. It'd be nice to see them remaster this game, perhaps, if they made the combat a little bit slicker, uh, cleared up a few of the bugs, and just made it, um, I don't know, just um, made it just a little bit more polished. This game would be a fantastic thing and it'd be great to introduce a lot of people to uh, a different kind of uh, RPG which would be great to uh, see to get a sequel as well. This would be fantastic to have a sequel. It'd be uh, a really nice um, and different thing. I suspect if Bioware were to do a different thing again it would be a new IP but this was a nice contained story. The twist in the middle um, when I first played it I had no idea that was coming and it was just um, it was out of the blue. When uh, I played it this time, I could see all the little hints all the way through. Especially playing Evil Side, you could definitely see the hints. Like, they, they weren't even hints, they were just straight up saying this is happening. But when you're playing kind of the uh, open palm style, you're always like, everybody's got a good side, there's two sides to every story. Evil view, there wasn't that kind of stuff. But yeah, it was uh, it was fun to play, and I know what game we're playing next. Now, I was considering playing something like Oblivion next, uh, which I said in my channel update, but we will not be playing Oblivion because, uh, well, it, I wanted to play something a little bit more unusual. People were saying things when I was saying Oblivion, they were saying, oh, it's been done before, and you know what, you're right. I want to play another odd RPG. We're going to be playing Alpha Protocol, which is an IP by Obsidian that didn't go anywhere. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Also, you won't have seen this, but the background actually changes depending on where you last saved. So, um, on the loading screen. And it does this all the way through, which I think was just a little bit nice, uh, a nice touch. Anyway, I'm going to end this uh, series here. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the new series. It should start very soon. And, uh, yeah. Again, thank you for watching. There was a lot more people watching this than I initially thought would watch this. And I'm surprised it did so well on the channel and I want to keep doing more things like it. Um, yeah. We're kind of done with our Bioware side of things though. We did all of Dragon Age, now Jade Empire, and moving on to Obsidian, which again, very similar to Bioware, but not quite the same. Um, I'm considering also going to Night Silver Republic after that, maybe trying that out again, but right now I've actually played it recently enough that I know already, like, I know most of the stuff. Jade Empire was fun to play because I have to keep stopping that uh, demo kind of cutscene. Um, Jade Empire was fun to play because I didn't know what was happening a lot of the time. Like, I didn't know all the ins and outs. Uh, nearing the end, I knew a little bit more because I had, uh, I had that corrupted footage thing that was a little bit unfortunate, but yeah, it's, um, it's a cool game. And if you have um, an operating system before Windows 7, 100% check it out because it has less bugs. After that, um, check it out on 360 if possible. But the PC version, there's a lot of stuff that, there's a lot of problems with the PC version. It has a lot of bugs, um, but it's still a lot of fun and I enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to end the series. Thank you for watching. See you next time.